Hi everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we are going to be working on a counting skill called supertizing. So let's take a look at the items that we're gonna be using in order to do that today. First, I have a 10 frame. As you can see, a 10 frame is a table of 10 squares. So let's double check and make sure this is a 10 frame. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so we're good on that 10 frame. We're also going to be using some objects in that 10 frame that we're going to be counting or supertizing. So basically what that means is I'm looking at the number of objects in the 10 frame and especially where they stop because that's going to tell me how many should be in that 10 frame. So when you supertize, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're counting by ones. You're looking at the number in that 10 frame and you should already know. For example, you're looking at, this is the star, so this is box one, fish, box two, heart, box three, and apple, box four. See this apple is in the last box, the fourth box. So that should be telling you there are four without necessarily even counting by ones. Okay, so when you supertize, it's gonna be really fast. So in order to talk about this concept and practice it better. We're going to do a game called quick images. So basically, I'm going to use my 10 frame and I'm going to put some objects in it. When we come back, I'm going to have it covered. And then I'm just going to give you a few seconds. I'm going to uncover it. And then in that few seconds, I want you to subitize or count quickly what I have in the 10 frame. Then I'm going to cover it back up. Then we're going to see if you were right. Did you count or subitize the correct number in the 10 frame? All right, so get ready, get set, because here we go. Okay, boys and girls, and we're back. So here's our first one. I'm going to uncover it. I'm gonna give you a few seconds, and let's see if you know what's in that 10 frame. All right, ready? Here we go. <laughs> Time to cover it back up. All right, so now, I hope you were thinking, I hope you were counting, you were supertizing and seeing what is it exactly is in that 10 frame. So you ready? I hope you said the number three. Here it is, one, two, three. Notice how it ended in that third box, that's three. All right, so let's take it a step further. I want you to write the number three with me. So let's go ahead and do that, ready? Around the tree, around the tree. That's how I make the number three. Yeah, I like little rhymes with my numbers. All right, boys and girls. So see, that's how quick images goes. So get ready, get set. We're doing a new one. Okay, we're back. Here we go. Time for another number. Get ready. I hope you're watching. Time to cover it back up. All right, so I wonder, do you know what was on that 10 frame? Here we go. Time to reveal. What is our number? I hope you said the number five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Now, you know when you're dealing with the 10 frame here, you have one full row. It's the number five. So let's go ahead. Let's write our number five together. We have hat, neck, big fat belly. Is five too much jelly? All right, boys and girls, get ready, get set. Time for a new one. Okay, boys and girls, and we're back. Get ready, get set. Here we go. <gasps> Time to cover it back up. Ooh, I wonder, were you watching? Were you sympathizing? Were you counting? What number is in this 10 frame? I hope you said the number eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, boys and girls, we have one row of five and then three more. That gives us our eight. Now, I like to call my eight a snowman number because watch how I make them. I'm gonna make them with two circles. Looks kind of just like a snowman. There we go, there's our eight. All right, boys and girls, get ready. Here comes a new one. Okay, boys and girls, we're back. Here's our new one, get ready. Cover it back up. 
I hope this was an easy peasy one. So here we go. Ready? I hope you said the number one. There it is. One right there. All right. Get ready. Time to write a one. Here's my little one. It's so fun to make a one. Yeah. Just one line going right down. Yeah, that was easy peasy, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, get ready. Here's a new one. Here we go, boys and girls. Get ready, get set. Hope you guys are watching. Here we go. <laughs> Gotta cover it back up. All right. I hope your eyes were watching. I hope they were counting. Here we go. I hope you said the number six. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. All right. Get ready to write our number six. We say a loop and a hoop. Our hoop is on the bottom. There we go, folks. There's our number six. All right, boys and girls. Get ready. Here we go. New one. Okay, boys and girls. Here we are. Here it is. Get ready. Get set. There it goes. It's gone now. I hope you were watching. Hope you were watching. Hope you were counting. Because I hope you said you counted the number 10. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There it is. Guys, look, you have a full 10 frame. Anytime we have a full 10 frame, you know that's the number 10. All right, time to make our number 10. Here's my little rhyme. One and a zero. Ten is my hero. All right, boys and girls, get ready. Here we go. Time for a new one. Okay, we're back. Get ready. Here's a new number. Here we go. Time to cover it back up. Hope you were watching. Here we go. I hope you said the number two. Here it is. One. Two. Get ready to write it with me. Around and back on the railroad track. That's how I make the number two. All right, boys and girls, we only have a few left, so stay tuned. Okay, boys and girls, here we go. Are you ready? Get set. Time to cover it up. Okay, here we go. I hope you were watching because it's time to reveal the number. I hope you said the number nine. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, and think about it. When we had a full 10 frame, remember, it was full. That was a 10. We have one less. So think about it. One less than 10 is nine. Here you go. So now let's write our number nine. Here's my little rhyme. A circle and a line that makes a nine. All right, boys and girls. So hold tight. We only have two more left. So get ready. Okay, boys and girls, here we go. Time to cover it up. Okay, I hope you were watching. I hope you were counting. I hope you said the number four. Here it is. One, two, three, four. Now think about it. Let's remember. Remember when we had one full row? That was a five. We have one less. So five, take away one. One less than five is definitely going to give us four. All right. Let's write our number four. Down, across, and down some more. That's how you make the number four. All right, boys and girls, get ready. We have one more left. Okay, boys and girls, here's our final quick image. Are you ready? Here we go. Time to cover it back up. Okay, boys and girls. 
I hope you were sympathizing. I hope you were counting quickly because the number I hope you said is seven. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There it is, boys and girls. All right. Don't forget, we got to write our number seven. Here's my little rhyme. Cross the sky, down to the grass, because seven runs really fast. All right, boys and girls, I really hope that you enjoyed our little quick image activity to help with subitizing or counting quickly in order to know what is in a 10 frame. Now think about it too. There's other ways that you could subitize too, using maybe dice or dominoes too, maybe if you might have those handy at home. Because you know what I always say, I always encourage you to practice at home. And until I see you again, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.